Hey y'all, how's it going? It is your girl, Hot Girl Tell Shay. Thank y'all all for joining and being here. I greatly, greatly, greatly do appreciate all the support, likes, comments, and subscribes to my channel. All right, this definitely means a lot to me. All right, for sure. Definitely means a lot to me. Um, if you like a book personal reading, it is at Hot Girl Tell Shay. All right, make sure y'all click the link down below to book your reading with me, okay? I will have I will have a website soon, so please stay tuned. Because I know a lot of y'all want to book with me, and y'all's like, girl, I'm not making no Twitter, and I definitely understand that, okay? I definitely do understand that, so I ain't mad at you at all, but I do appreciate y'all still for rocking with me, staying tuned to my videos, um, hitting that notification bell for you, girl, okay? So y'all know when I post, so I definitely do love the fact that y'all stay on it, okay? Um, so we're going to get started, collective. So, spirit, angels, and gods, please place the collective with the messages that they need to hear at this time. Anyone who's sending any negative energy, doing it in the spirit, spirit has to use money, right? Consider tenfold. Help me channel the messages for the collective's highest good at this time. What, what are they needing to know? All right, we're going to get started, you guys. Y'all are having a great day. All right. For the collective, it's good. All right. So, Bama definitely got sneaky as fuck. So, this person could have been definitely sneaking y'all's connection. Um,. There's somebody here who, you know, was, could be messing around with an ex. Okay. Uh, what's the bottom of the deck energy? Um, they, this, whoever this is, because they were sneaky, they definitely feel like you have closed that door to this connection. They feel like you are totally done. You're out of it, you know. So, so we got here. It's this third party ruining everything for them. So your person could have been definitely dealing with, um, like I said, an ex, a third party who they were sneaking around with. And this person... Um, could have definitely, you know, your, your person could have kept going back or they just was ruining things for your person, trying to get your person locked up, trying to get your person in trouble, trying to, you know, um, any, any new female that came around your person, they were out for revenge. Okay. This person, def this third party was definitely somebody that your person felt like, Ooh, I got to get out of there. I got to get out of there. Okay. So there was some type of third party ex here, closed off guard, resistant change. Somebody here could be very close off to this connection, and I feel like it's because you set boundaries, okay? The reason, the fact that they can't get to you anymore, the fact that you have kind of pushed them away, the fact that, you know, because they weren't changing, or when they felt like they were, or they wanted to change when they felt like it, you was like, no, we ain't doing that, you know? And this person even knows that you are done. You, you, you're over it. You're done with the childish games. You're done with it. And I feel like they were now they're trying to guard themselves toward from you. It's just praying that you stay put. So even though they are a little bit closed off or completely closed off or guard, guarded um, because they wouldn't, res wouldn't change, they still kind of hoping that you just, you don't completely move on. That even though they're acting this way, they hope that you stay put in some type of way. This person could be typing, deleting messages. So I feel like this person definitely could. That's kind of like a form of like, Somebody here wanting to reach out and talk. I'm going to actually pull two more from this. But yeah, there's somebody here who's definitely, um, it's like they don't, they can't find the right words. So it says your person is about to be exposed. So they're about to be exposed for something that they possibly did. Um, and you know, that's another reason why they could be closed off and guarded towards you because they know some shit's about to hit the roof. And then we got, I really want to grow with you. So there's somebody here who definitely sees themselves like being with you and they see like this connection, like y'all two really being together and working things out. But like I said, they're closed off. Let's get three more. All right. All right. So we got unable to sleep or function. So your person's definitely going through something. I feel like they could know that they've done something wrong or they could be in a situation, you know, where they, um, they're just not able to do the things that they want to do. You know, another reason for them being closed off, possibly their money isn't right. Maybe the, the, the some type of like demons are keeping them up at night. I don't know. 
This is you're my wife, my husband. So somebody definitely put you on that pedestal. They know who you are. They know what you mean to them. And it's just trying to keep tabs on you. So this person could be looking up on your social media. You know, that's why they could be like, they really don't have the courage to because they feel like you're in a happy, a happy place and they don't want to, they don't want to mess that up, you know? So we're going to see what is going on. Definitely just clarify a few of these, not all, not everything, because some of them are definitely self-explanatory, but I'll cut um do as many as I feel needed to do. So spirit, why is this person closed off and guarded towards the collective? Why is this person closed off and guarded? So we got the four swords. So I feel like this person is just trying to find some peace in their storm. Um, they could be moving, you know, they're wanting to move forward or trying to leave something behind. Somebody here could just be wanting to be single, you know. Why is this person close up and guarded? So I feel like um There is still some love for you. This person knows that, you know, you're very compassionate. You know, they still got love for you. And I feel like eventually they will take some type of action towards you. But it may not be like that, like anytime soon. Um, for some of you, I will admit, you know, there could be somebody else that they're engaging with. And, you know, dealing with sexually. But I feel like whatever, whoever they get that offer to, it's not going to last too long. <laughs> it's like going to be coming to an end. Because somebody may see a person for who they are. Um, what is your person is about to be exposed? What is that about? So somebody here could be planning on, like somebody here could be gathering a lot of information on your person. Um, and eventually they're just going to like, just go ahead and, and, and run it. Okay, this... Whoever's trying to expose your person and thinking about it for a while, clarify the seven of pentacles for your person is about to be exposed. Yeah. So I feel like this could be somebody that they, they took their love to with the Knight of Cups. Because at the bottom of the deck, we got two of swords. Is somebody here that they were juggling for some time. This could have been another person involved. So maybe, you know, they used this person or did something, but it ended up being like a stalemate connection. Okay, why is this person typing and deleting out messages for the collective? Because they want to communicate with you. You know, it came out sideways, so this person may not know how to reach out just yet, but this person wants to communicate with you. Like, they want to come in with some type of offer. Yeah, they want to give you their offer. Clarify Ace of Swords for typing and deleting messages. What does this person want to say to the collective? So we got the Seven of Cups in reverse. So this person is just confused. That's why they haven't reached out yet. There's They... They don't know, like, if there's, like, purpose in this anymore. They're very confused. Somebody here could be very distracted. They may want to come in with some clarity. Um, Somebody here could have, be, could have learned their lesson in a situation. What's the Seven of Cups in reverse for typing, deleting messages, Spirit? Why is this person typing and deleting messages? Yeah, there's somebody here who don't know what to say to you because they kept secrets from you, okay? They had a lot of hidden secret somebody here you know could have had some uncertainty um and they just don't know maybe they feel like you're keeping a secret from them okay why is this person unable to sleep or function so it's like they're trying to find the confidence they're trying to look forward why is this person unable to sleep or function because i feel like you're on their mind heavy they could have had you and somebody else you know, on their mind at one point in time because you're coming, they, they, it says it's stalemate. But I feel like they're trying to manifest something here new with these, but they're trying to figure out how to take some type of risk towards you in order for y'all to grow. The person could be also trying to figure out like what they're going to do about their money situation. Okay. Why is this person trying to keep tabs on the collective? So you got the King of Swords. Some of you are dealing with a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, um, a Capricorn, a Cancer, 
somebody here definitely knows with this king of swords and the ten of pentacles somebody here knows that you are somebody that they want to have that that family with you know you got the you're my husband my wife so this person like i said they see that they know what y'all could be but i feel like this person it's like they, they want to take some some type of authority to this connection they're not saying it but they're definitely knowing like who you are you know they definitely know that what's up with you basically and that's why they're wanting to come back towards you because now they're looking at things with a bigger picture you know why is this king of swords keeping tabs on the collective yeah somebody here feels bad for something that they've done um this person you know feels discontent they feel definitely they they feel let down which is another why they're keeping tabs on you like i said they're not expressing their feelings they're just in their head right now all right and this person does want to give you an offer but they have they feel as if like something has came to an end but at the same time with the with this ten of cups energy i mean with the ten of ten of swords and then you got the ten of cups somebody here definitely still sees you as their wish fulfillment it's like even though they, they know like they treated you wrong or they done you wrong or they gave their love to somebody else or whatever the case may be, this person still feels sad. Why is this person praying that the collective space put? So I feel like they've been thinking about you a lot. I feel like this person definitely has been um, thinking about coming towards you. They've been seeing you in their dreams, and they pray that you stay put. Clarify the page of cups for they pray that you stay put. Yeah, somebody wants to come into harmony with you. They want to make peace out of this situation. They want to put, balance it out. They want to figure out a, a resolution. Yeah, because they don't want to lose you. And, and literally, you know, this person is going to come in when you least expect it. I think they're coming in very fast. Because I feel like this person is stuck on you still. And I feel like they feel like you low-key are their happiness, you know? And I thought they may want to come with some type of truth. But that will is about to change. Because they do want to really have this commitment with you. They want to be with you. It doesn't matter what, what's going on. This person knows for a fact it's where they want to be. Why is this third party trying to ruin everything for the collective person? Why is the third party trying to ruin everything for the collective person? Okay, there's somebody here who loves arguments. It's like they try to bully your person into being with them. And that's not what your person wants. This third party still has a lot of love for your person. This could definitely be a form of a baby mama. Uh, maybe this baby mama found out that they were given to you and somebody else. And your person could have made a choice. And the choice wasn't them. Because the person done disconnected themselves. Five of Swords. Why is the third party ruining everything? Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, there's somebody here who is very vengeful. There's somebody here who likes to argue. They're very jealous. They're, you know, self-centered. They can be jealous of you. Um, there's somebody here who has a bad temper. There's somebody who, like I said, they bully, want to bully a person into being with them. Third party running everything with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, there's somebody here. It could be more than one person that your person is dealing with. But they're coming out with the Queen of Swords in reverse. There's somebody here who is um, definitely, you know, not really happy with your person right now. So they could be trying to find any and every little thing to keep your person stuck. It says, I really want to grow with you. Why does this person want to grow with the collective? It's something that they think about. Um, because they know what they could have with you, but they have some type of fear. What's the nine of swords for? I really want to grow with you for the collective. Yeah. But see, like this person, they want to give to you. You know, they want to balance something out here. They want to have a new beginning. They want to have a new beginning here. And some of you, they see you as the empress. They put you on a high pedestal. Okay. So let's see. <clears throat> let's see. So let me clarify these um messages for the collectors high stud. So with somebody here, there's there's um a, probably a few women, maybe two, maybe you found out about somebody else other than what you knew about. But yep, there's somebody here who doesn't know to end things with you or your person still doesn't want to let you go and yeah there's a lot going on behind the scenes i feel like it's still a lot of information that you may not know 
which maybe somebody here is about to get exposed. So let's get some oracles. Let's see what's going on. I told y'all. Person's about to be exposed. Something's about to be confessed, exposed. What does a collective need to be aware of with this person, with this individual? So there's been some type of breakup. The person can be definitely walking away from a third party situation. Ending it, it's over, it's done with, okay? Your person has chose to walk away. I don't know what this person did, but this third party could definitely ruin things. Your person made a choice, you know, possibly to end this toxic connection. Yeah, there's some definitely some type of done deal. Something is completely over with. And I feel like this is a form, whatever this is, your person could be realizing like you didn't have nothing to do with a situation. Or they're realizing like they need to get it together because they do put you, they do feel like you are their wife or their husband if if that's not all the way. Um now if you are the wife or the husband, for the most part, I feel like it's probably done with. Okay. Um or they could be getting out of it or trying to leave that third party situation behind them, breaking up with that person, maybe they're choosing to just be done single and work on something but i feel like y'all are fated to be together this person is going to pop up when you least expect it this person is going to definitely pop up when you least expect it see to come back and have a reconciliation with the overall energy because they're missing you they want a second chance to prove that they have broke something completely off and they're ready to focus on you and the connection okay ready to move forward yeah so there's definitely going to be a pause in y'all's connection just for quite some time um, I feel like this is something that you don't need to sit around and wait for. You need to just let spirit do its thing. Okay? Somebody here, you know, I feel like you were protected from something because somebody didn't have the best intentions. Yeah. Somebody here could definitely be running and avoiding this connection. But I feel like they're going, as they're running and avoiding you, spirit is also teaching them a valuable lesson. You know, um, they're going through some type of rebirth. Somebody here could be hanging out with a lot of friends to try to keep them, you know, grounded. Yeah. See, somebody here could have had, like, yeah, they had a hidden hidden motive, but they were wearing a mask. Somebody here could, was a, a huge liar. But I feel like this individual um, was just juggling a lot. And I feel like they want to come towards you. Yeah, this ex-lover. They want to come back towards you and they want to make something right because they're missing you. So eventually they'll get out of their head and make their way back towards you. Yeah, the divine masculine is definitely coming out here. So, you know, you could be definitely dealing with the divine masculine. But they may be unexpected, you know, that this person hits you up or wants to talk or be on your good side. Yeah, so you you may get some proof that this person wants to be back with you. Maybe somebody will let you know, but the proof is or the, the something here is going to be shown that they want to be back with you. Somebody's returning towards you. You know, they're reminiscing on the, on the memories that y'all had. Okay, something about some receipts being shown. So there was a lot of drama here with this individual. Maybe you just find yourself arguing with this person all the time. You know, um, maybe you may find that they may be in some type of drama in the next couple um, weeks, days. I don't know. Ooh, all this came out one forty time. So yeah, there could be some legal issues going on with your person, and it was possibly from a toxic individual. And your person tired. And there's there's been some type of agreement or compromise in all of that. Something's been compromised, probably with a drama queen that was very thirsty. If somebody hears the person let go and they, and you know, they regret even dealing with this individual. So all three of those came out. So I feel like um, there's some discussing going on with your person, probably with their friends about you, or there's just some something that's being discussed person knows that the grass is not greener on the other side and they feel way down for the decision that they made when it came to you because they know they made you a promise yeah your person is on, in a lot of regret because right now you cannot be talking to them or y'all are not talking there's no action going on right now um and they regret that 
you know, they regret putting you in situations and this person regrets messing up their family with you or they regret, you know, um, walking away from you for the most part. Yeah, somebody here is definitely keeping tabs on your social media. Um, you start to get weird messages or these like weird like pages watching you. It's them. They know what's up. They know that the grass is greener with you. Okay. They know you and no matter who they go with, who whoever they've been dealing with, you are all you always come out on top, okay? And that's why they feel so weighed down because you're not in this energy where you're doing what they say or you're coming through when they want you to come through. You're not you're not doing that no more. You are definitely focusing on yourself. So all this person can do is watch you. All they can do is type out their messages and not sending them and deleting them. Yeah, I told you because this person want to really be back with you. That's what they're wanting, but it's not it's not happening the way that they want it to. They miss you. There will be a reunion. They want a second chance. Yeah, y'all can get a text or a call from this person, okay? Or, you know, if you got them blocked and you may be like, bro, why do you keep on calling me from no call ID or these unknown numbers? What's the issue? What are you doing? And they're like, that ain't me. Like, you're like, bro, yes, I do. It is you. <laughs> But somebody here wants to be back with you. So what is this breakup about? What is the collective person walking away from divorcing? So I feel like your person is walking away from situations that are keeping them way down. Maybe this third party situation was very, had weighed them down. Yeah, your person was having hookups, one night stands. I feel like that for some of you, your person does not want to be a player anymore. Somebody here could be weighed down because they knew the grass wasn't green. That keeps wanting to come out. Yeah, your ex-lover knew that the grass was not greener wherever they went to. You know, somebody here could be very petty, very jealous of you in the connection. But in divine timing, your person realized like, or in divine timing, they realize like they're making the wrong choices. They're making the mistake of keep keeping somebody around. You know, they're not doing what they're supposed to do. Clarify this divine masculine. Yeah, this person loves you. And I feel like they're walking on a spiritual path. Or at least they're trying to. They're trying to, you know, do better. Go through some type of awakening. After being stuck to toxic situations. This person could definitely ghosted you. Why is this person returning back to the collective? Because it's in their head. Something here. Like, it's like you're always reminded. Yeah. There's like a magnetic attraction. There's romantic feelings. But something here is keeping them like, it's like a roller coaster, like on and off. And they just don't know. It's just like they can't turn off their feelings for you. That's what it is. They can't turn off their feelings for you. What proof is coming out? What receipts? So this somebody here may want to tell you like, look, I ended something. Um, the receipts that may come out is saying, let you know, like, um, they did truly end something with somebody else. They can let you know, like, the, the past is the past. Look, I ended that, babe. I texted them. I told them that I'm done. This was their response. As you can see, they are gonna they said they're going to ruin my life. I don't want to be with them. And they may come off unexpected that they actually did that. Like, you know, they actually are standing up for this connection. Yeah. They'll let somebody know, like, you know, you did all that. You know, some, so I feel like some, some, some truth is going to come out. But at the same time, it's like a person's trying to tell you their truth and try to be with you. But at the same time, this person, this other person, this third party could have some or may expose your person. Like, look, y'all, he used me for money or she used me for money or she did this and did that. And they still went back to this one. And it, it's going to be probably, it ain't, it ain't going to be easy. The third party's not going to make it, basically, the third party's not going to make it easy for your person to leave. They're going to always paint your person as the bad guy. Okay, what is this storm warming drama? What is this storm warming drama? <clears throat> yeah, it's somebody that has a secret crush on your person that don't that that is admires your person. They want to be with your person. They feel like your person is the best person ever for them. Mm. But as I said, that these cards came out or about to come out, and but your person wants to be with you and compromise. They want to come to an agreement. They want to figure something out with you. This person wants to come be back with you to get on the same page. That reconciliation card. Definitely watch you from another page. Why does this um? Why does cut this person in regret? Yeah, they're sad. They're broken. 
you know, they feel alone because they dealt with a toxic connection and they know the time is up. But with them even being single now or, or releasing that, they're still not might be. And this person could be retaliate. This person won't punish. Trying to, it's like this third party is really trying to ruin your person's life. Like, I really do. And that's why we got that card. Mm-hmm. They could be fighting with this person all the time. You know, they don't. It's like they don't understand that no means no, you know. And it's like your person knows the only way to be with you is to be single, to fulfill this, this connection. And they're trying to let clear the space with this negativity because they want to be happy with you but they keep getting triggered by somebody trying to come in and ruin things you because your person really wants a long relationship with you but you didn't cut them off because you're like uh uh you need to come in the right way and that's why they want to come in doing it doing it better but they regret everything they regret what they've done and they feel crushed that you maybe don't see them the same way why is this person regretful and crushed <clears throat> for dealing with a drama queen i cannot make it up for messing for even messing with this person they they regret it they've been having to spend more money they've been having to you know change your location this person been probably got their like this the transportation this person probably ruined their car or their transportation so now they ain't got nothing to show for it's just a lot going on behind the scenes. Clarify this drama queen, this thirsty cake causing chaos drama queen. Who is this drama queen? Spirit? Yeah, whoever the drama queen was in your person's life, guess what? It's done. It's ending. It's coming to the end. It's not going to be no more of that. And that person is in fear. That person, that, that drama queen is afraid. They're stressed out. They're depressed. Yeah, see? Somebody that your person had a toxic connection with. And they know that their time is up. Yeah, your person's letting go and surrendering that. And all this person does, this drama queen does, is spy on your person. Spy on you. Trying to come with the next plot move. One more for this drama queen whose time is about to be up. Yeah. Because they know they're coming back towards you. They're so, the soulmate energy. Somebody knows for sure that y'all connection is is it, okay? They know that I done lost my person. Mm -hmm. Let's see, access granted social media. What is this about spirit? Access granted. So I feel like it, it could be two people, okay? This is um how I take this is with the twin flame and entrapment card. I feel like either somebody who's trying to trap your person is watching your social media. Your twin flame soulmate could be watching your social media. So I feel like it's the karmic and, you know, is watching is watching your social media. What's this entrapment? What's entrapment? Somebody here may beg you, maybe begging a person to be with them and stay with them. I feel like somebody's like, or like, and for some weirdly reason, this karmic, I mean, this, this thirsty individual knows who you are, knows that you and your person are still, still connected. So I feel like, and they know their time is up and they know what y'all got is beautiful, but they just are in, they don't want to admit it, of course, because that's what they wanted with your person. And so that's why they're thirsty, causing a lot of drama and chaos in your person's life. Let me get one more spirit for this drama queen. Yeah, see, they're trying to take some type of risk. They're being very strategic here, too. Somebody here wants to take a chance to do something. And if it could be towards you, like this person end up getting drunk and reaching out to the Divine Feminine, which is you. You know, they could be wanting to be like you. They look, they really look up to you. Yeah, this person does. Somebody knows your person about to give you some type of offer. So they come to kind of come up, look, and as I split the deck, it said rage. And somebody's pissed off at that. Ooh, why is this person wanting a second chance with the collective? I feel like for some reason, even if your person is trying to come back, it's like they're being stopped. I don't know why, but that came out to clarify that. Even if your person is trying to come back, there is going to be some type of drama. So it's like, are y'all really able to make this work? You know, is this feminine energy or this 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 drama queen? They're going to try to stop it. Because look how happy y'all are. And they sit back watching that. They sit back watching how happy y'all are. 
and that look didn't i tell you that i just saw this rage card and they're pissed off about it they are thirsty for your person's attention you know because they want that relationship so i feel like even if your person does come back collective and y'all choose to work it out this time there's going to be some type of revenge that this karmic is as after they're very revengeful one more for reconciliation What is this reconciliation? Yes, this is all in divine timing. Because this person needs some, some time to change. But like I said, that's the only reason why to move forward. Like I said, they're gonna have to let you know, like, look, baby, I did end it. And look what this what look what she's saying, look what he's saying. And then you're like, oh, well, <laughs> you know, one more. What's happening in divine timing with this person's with their connection? So it's like in divine timing, you and this person will end up back together. What's happening in divine timing with this reconciliation spirit? Yeah, y'all are meant to be. And in divine time, your person will realize y'all are meant to be, and you will realize that y'all are destined to be together. That's just what it is. It, it is what it is. It's, it's already been worked out for y'all. Do y'all have to go through these obstacles? Yeah, do y'all have to? Because this is so many twin flame energy. So it's not going to be peaches and cream all the time. Yeah, your person may have cheated. Yeah, you may have cheated. Yeah, you might be trying to find your way. Everybody is different. But yeah, the thing about it is right now, it's just time to surrender and let go and let it, it fade out. But y'all are meant to be together. In divine time, y'all be together. And in divine time, and guess what? Somebody's not going to be happy about it. Clarify ret retaliation. Clarify retaliation. Yeah, because your person got rid of this negative energy. They realized that that was holding them back from their true happiness. The more they kept trying to be with this karmic, they weren't going to be able to get any space. And, and you know, maybe the karmic is like, no, we we together. They wanted to deny that. But when they, yeah, because they're a whole snake out here. They be trying to tempt your person into staying back, which is that why they got to trap them or get them in their head or come up with money issues or, or say they're pregnant or pull out their heartstrings. But whatever the case is, when your person comes up with a second chance, no, even if, and, and for some of you, you know, you got you to gotta be smart because if somebody is mad, an ex, a baby mama, baby daddy, someone who thought that they were going to get it all from your person or got some type of toxic attachment to your person, you got to realize even if like, your person could be done with the situation, you know? So, and then your person may, like, they're going to show you proof that they're done with this karmic and this karmic is not letting up. They're not letting up because they want to be with that. And your person is trying to clear that negative energy. And if they can do it, and if it is a baby mama, they may just be trying to clear the negativity out and try to like, you know, like, look, let's just make it about our kid. Let's just, you know, let's, let's do the things the right way. And this person's like, mm-mm. No. What's happening in divine timing with the collective and their reconciliation? Cannot make it up. Spirit say y'all going to be together. That's just what it is. <laughs> I mean, come on, y'all. I told y'all. Y'all are meant to be together. I cannot make this shit up. In divine time, y'all will be together. And in divine time, there will be somebody who's mad at y'all. So is y'all love bigger than what somebody has somebody feel? Because the thing is, yeah, you're coming out as a divine feminine. You're coming out on a high pedestal. You're on top. So yeah, people are going to be jealous of y'all connection. Yeah. And yeah, your person had a lot to do with that, you know? But somebody got a lot of anxiety and fear towards y'all two being together, you know? One more for this coming together in the Valentine. Yeah, it's going to be unexpected that the strings that your person will pull to be with you to show you like, baby, I'm yours. And it may shock you, you know? Yeah, because there's a third party still trying to be here, trying to get themselves in the in the picture. And after a while, you're going to realize like, yeah, this person's just mad. <laughs> they just mad. One more for wanting a reconciliation. Yeah, I feel like y'all are divinely being protected. Y'all union is being protected. That's why it's not going to end off the fact of this this revengeful person. Yeah, because your person, for one, they know that you are the better option. They know they deserve better, and they know that they want to be with you. And they know they're unhappy without you. They can only fake it for so long, I'm trying to tell you. That's why we like want letting y'all know, like, y'all don't need to be, like, upset and sad and when your person is acting up. The truth is, if they don't want to be without you, just as much you don't want to be without them. But they got to learn some type of lesson before y'all can get to the next phase. They have to learn that. They got to. 
it got to be better or it'll, it'll never work out. Some of you are definitely not losing any more sleep on this situation, on this person. You know, you are looking towards new beginnings for yourself. Look, told you and this person wants you. They want to be with you. So what's the true spirit? What's the collective and that person? What is the truth? So right now, your person could be emotionally unavailable. Okay? Um, could be definitely emotionally unavailable at this time. But overall energy is that they still have unconditional love for you. Okay? Yeah, somebody here definitely fantasizes about you a lot. Think about you a lot. Somebody, y'all could just be taking like some type of vacation, or maybe somebody you're planning a vacation, or maybe your person is planning a vacation for you. Y'all maybe going to get it on <laughs> really good. Cause they've been fantasizing about you. They could have had a dream that you know y'all want a vacation and y'all had was on the balcony. I know that's right. Yeah, this person still got some type of puppy love for you. But I feel like right now they're just trapped in their in their mind in their own self in their circumstances and they're learning some type of spiritual lesson about being tempted with with a karmic because every time they came up short being with this person now they're trying to avoid the world you know they're trying to avoid it all yeah so y'all will be getting a message from this person saying they want to have a new beginning in love with you so definitely expect a message from this person Clarify this message is coming in for the collective spirit. What message is coming in from the collective person? That they want a family with you. They want to grow with you. They want a family. Someone here wants to, to earn your trust again. After putting you in a third party situation. After being a player. And they're like, look baby, I done made some changes. Because they've been in their head about something. Especially since y'all have taken some type of break. Because of their hot and cold energy. But this person definitely wants to wants a family with you. One more for the, this message that's coming in for the collective. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign. So they, there's a fire sign that want to message you. And they want a commitment with you. After being non-committal. Because like I said, they didn't do nothing but hurt themselves by being who they went to. Because you still came out on top. That's that Empress Divine Energy. You know, now they're sitting somewhere by themselves. Yeah, somebody here is definitely triggered by something they were tempted, tempted by. Yeah, a karmic partner. They are tempted by it. Something could be going on in the shadows. Um, someone wants to talk to you. So maybe you don't see that coming, but someone definitely wants to talk to you. Yeah, somebody misses your comfort. Like they miss hearing your voice. I don't know if your voice is comforting or if your love making is comforting. There's something comforting about you. Yeah, somebody definitely scared that it's over with with you. Yeah, see, and they're missing you. This player is missing you. You made this person feel whole in so many ways. Yeah. And this person also feels a little bit insecure right now. Like, even having multiple hookups don't even phase your person. Like, it's just like, it, it, if they are intimate with somebody, they're still hurting. And it's an illusion that they're, like, it's an illusion. Because it's making them miss you. So, yeah, they may be having rendezvous, hookups, whatever. But after that, they feel like trash. They feel like, why did I do this? I feel like, damn, you know? And now they're trying to set boundaries with doing that and just focus on money. Because right now, their money could be looking very, very bad. But like I said, they're going through a spiritual lesson. Now, as they're going through this lesson, they're realizing that they still got unconditional love for you. Mm -hmm. So I hear we definitely determined to win you back. Yeah, definitely working on the healing. Yeah, but this person definitely lets their pride and ego get in the way. Definitely let it get in the way. So what can the collective expect from this person soon? Romance and affection. And this person is determined. 
determined to be more, more romantic towards you, be more affectionate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So y'all should, ex overall energy is that y'all going to get, y'all person going to come in more romantic and affectionate towards this connection. This person is not going to let you go. Not that easily. It ain't done that easily. Y'all got some obstacles and, you know, things that are keeping y'all apart at this time. Could be money, another individual. Um, a lot of things could be sent away. Them being un emotionally unavailable. Them having to watch you, you know, do things on your own, live life. I feel like, I feel like as soon as you start posting, because right now you may not be posting yourself or anything, but when you start posting pictures, you going to concerts, you going out with your girls, your guys, you having fun. I promise you, this person is gonna end up wanting to be like, hey, what you doing? You know, because they know you're not settling for their bullshit. You know, and they also know like what's easy doesn't last. So yeah, you may be a little hard work. Yeah, you may want what you want and that's just what it is. And they have to see that for what it is. Okay? So love angels, what do you need to let the collector know about their person? <laughs> that they coming back? I did, she said, come on girl, we ain't got time. <laughs> she heard it and gave me that message, thank you. Yeah, your love angel said someone from your past is returning. So why are y'all stressing? Right now it's about you. Right now you gotta work on you. Look, bottom of the deck, calling your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Some of you have definitely been praying for your person, and it's working. may not be working when you want it, but it's coming when the time is right. In divine timing, you will have your person back. And like I said, in divine timing as well, as y'all trying to move forward, there's somebody who's just mad, and that's just what it is. So don't let this person ruin it. They may expose your person because they didn't get their way, you know. But y'all about to move things to the honeymoon phase. Y'all about to be going forward. So I don't think I need to pull no more after that. I mean, that's just what it is. I may pull y'all a um, one of these messages just to see what your person's energy is at. But yeah, this this person definitely wants a situation. They're coming back. So why stress it? You know, why stress yourself out for that matter? Because like I said, y'all are fated to be together. We are destined to be together. Not, not, how can, how, yeah, this person can, can send like, um, this karmic, can definitely, you know, send in things y'all's way, get your person locked up. You know, they can they can do, you know, expose your person to be the bad guy, even if they were. You know, they can do a bunch of bullshit to try to keep y'all away from each other. But what's meant to be will be, and eventually they will get their karma. Eventually they will be exposed for their own selves. Because how are you mad at somebody that they don't want to be with you? Why are you causing somebody so much pain? And trying to mess up things with what's meant to be. What's meant to be is going to be. Okay? So, yeah. Y'all your person may be acting the way they're acting. But, like I said, they're missing you. They want this family. They're going to come in and tell you that. This this karma can plot all they want to. Y'all connection is... When I saw that card, I was like, oh, yeah. Y'all connection is protected. So, yeah. They can, they can do little things. They can do little love spells. They can do this and that. It's not going to work. Okay? The spirit, what is... Um, the club and the back of person. What's this energy? Where are their energy at? <clears throat> what is this person's energy at? What is this person's energy at with the collective? That they want something long term. So the energy is definitely long term. Okay, this person is not letting you go. Yeah, it's like I told you, y'all. It's an adventure right now. It's, a, it's an adventure, you know? Y'all have definitely been on one. One more spirit. Yeah, this person about to get ready to come in and open up to you. I'm trying to tell y'all because they're not going to lose you. Y'all, I feel like this person feel like y'all better together on better on when y'all on good times. Like y'all, this person feel like y'all better together than y'all are apart. Yeah, overall energy is yes. So somebody here is about to say yes to the dress or say yes to being uh, giving them a second chance, especially when everything play out. Y'all about to say yes again to this person or say yes for, you know, to move forward. But like I said, this card kind of reminds me of this one. Like reconciliation card kind of reminds me a little bit of this card. She got that pretty dress on. But this person ain't letting you go. And some of you, you know, you could have made your mind like, look, I'm just going to move forward. But look how he's holding on to her. Yeah. This this was meant that this had to happen this way for your person to open up their eyes to see what they were going through to see that not to not to mess up God's blessing that was given to them. 
So yeah, your person could be a little hard headed. You know, they they got some issues, but I feel like overall, continue to live your life, go places, experience things, have fun, save up your money, sack up your money. This person ain't going nowhere. So let them go. You know, do what they got to do, and you go learn your lessons. Um, I feel like y'all gonna win back long term. It's been an adventure, like I said, but I feel like eventually your person's gonna open up. You know, about themselves, about what they've experienced what they went through and you will end up saying yes so some of you wind up being married to this person i always see marriage for y'all collective like i said i feel like it can happen anytime soon so enjoy this break go have fun go live your life go do what you got to do for yourself create that you know your business create good things fortune for yourself because this this situation is 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 going to play itself out all right i love y'all hope y'all enjoyed y'all's reading thank y'all so much for tuning in with your girl i will see you on the next one peace